Hello everyone, this is just a dad. Today, let's make a Coca-Cola slushy in the Ninja Slushy Professional Frozen Drink Maker. Now, regular Coca-Cola works great, but you cannot use Diet Coke. Diet Coke doesn't have sugar in it. And according to the guidelines, we do need sugar in our drinks in order to make a slushy. And we need about eight ounces per eight grams. So this is super simple to operate. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna select slushy and we're gonna put our, our Coca-Cola up here. We cannot put any ice or anything in here. That's gonna turn the auger. That cylinder in there is gonna refrigerate. It's gonna have, it's gonna be really cold from the machine and that's what's gonna make the slushy. Okay, let's open it up. Let's pick slushy. It's gonna have pre-programmed levels for us. And then you simply just put the Coke in. All right, you just dump it up here. It's gonna fizz a little bit, but we can put up to 64 ounces in. The fizz will go down, the, fu the, the foam there, that will eventually kind of go down and then you can keep adding a little bit more liquid. Now the slushy will have pre-programmed levels. I think it's up to about three level. Um, you can make this warmer or colder depending on what, how you, the consistency of the slushy you want. But when you press slushy, it's programmed right there. Now if this, whatever soda you put in here does not have enough sugar, after about 15 minutes, you will get a descending light that's, that's rolling down and it's gonna beep at you and the machine stops. That's to let you know that you don't have enough sugar in the liquid and you gotta add some more sugar. Let's start a stopwatch and see how long it's gonna take. Now it does help if you refrigerate this beforehand. Okay, that took right at 26 minutes. And now it looks like it's really, really in really good shape. That looks like the right, if now if that was not the right texture, I could adjust it, but it did beep at me. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be just right. So it looks, it looks perfect. That's a really, really nice texture. Mm hmm. Yep, it still has all the soda taste and flavor. That's a really, really nice slushy it's starting to melt a little bit so again if i want it runnier i just press that down arrow if i want it thicker i press the up arrow i could get that uh, down that time down a little bit if i refrigerated this like 24 hours in advance i think i could get that down to around 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes now i can let that run up to 12 hours now it's going to cycle on and off it's going to recycle that ref refrigerant on and off to chill that center drum but I can just let it sit there for 12 hours while it's got liquid in it. Okay, I'm gonna show you the cleanup on the Ninja Slushy. So you could put this into a big uh, bowl, but I've got it over the sink. Now you're gonna turn it on, or if it was in slushy mode, all you gotta simply do is go down to rinse. What that's gonna do is that's gonna turn the refrigerant off. The, the auger still spins, that helps clean it, but it's not cooling it anymore. So we open this up here, we wanna dump hot water in here. And we want to dump it all the way up to the 64 fluid ounces. Now you got to pour it in slow because there's this little baffle. And then we'll take it apart and I'll show you what parts can go in the dishwasher and how else to clean it. But this is, if you have leftover slushy in there, the hot water is also going to help melt it so that it will come out. Again, don't, they says do not go above the 64 ounces. Now you don't have to let it spin. If it's got a lot of ice in there, you could let it spin. A, you could let it spin a little bit. But let's go ahead and open it up. If it says open it up slow, or it could make a mess. All right. I do got a little bit of ice in there, but we're. It's good. Now I'll turn it off. Now there's this big lever right here. Very easy. Take this off. The auger comes off. Now I can rinse all this out nice and easy. It says it's dishwasher safe, but I'm not gonna put this in the dishwasher. Rinse that off, you can get that nice and clean. This little spout comes off. 
it just pulls off like that. But you can't take this mechanism apart, but you can get this all nice and clean. Now get you a warm, soapy rag, and you can wipe this off. Be careful. Don't scratch this or anything. There's a seal here. You can wipe that seal off really good. When you're all done, take the drip tray out. We can see there's the drip tray. I can, I can put that in the dishwasher. And then I can give this all another wipe off and kind of a rinse. I don't want to get any water down in here or anything. I could put a rag and just kind of wipe it all off. And that's it. And wipe the front off. The drip tray, I can put that in the dishwasher also. And that's it. Cleanup is super simple. So underneath the video, I will put a link to this where you can purchase it off of the Ninja website or the Shark website or Walmart or Amazon. If you click on those links, the products won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. Channel, I am an affiliate with those companies. And again, if you click on the link, the product doesn't cost you anymore, but I do get a small commission from the, the sale. And it is a way of helping support my channel, which I really do appreciate everybody's help and support. And again, if you could hit the like and subscribe. Also, check me out on Instagram. Look for my logo just to add videos on Instagram. And I have two Facebook. I have a Facebook group page and a Facebook page. So if you could go hit a follow over there, I really would appreciate it. I do free giveaways there. So again, thanks everybody for watching. And I really do appreciate everybody's support. And if you could, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.